Hey guys, welcome to another math lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about geometry and we're going to also use another program called um, GeoGebra which will help us to uh, demonstrate to you guys some of the basic rules involving geometry. So we'll use that program throughout the series of videos for geometry. So that should make it a bit more interesting for you guys. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is define what a polygon is. So when people talk about polygon, what they mean is a, sh a closed shape uh, made up of straight lines. So you might find a lot more complicated or um, I guess politically correct um, definitions but really a polygon is just a closed shape made up of straight lines. So let's uh, show you guys the most basic polygon using the program GeoGebra. Now if it's if you guys haven't used GeoGebra before, um, so basically this is a program that you can download for free off the internet and there's some pretty good tutorials about GeoGebra uh, made by uh, some other YouTubers already so I'll give you guys some links um, in the description so you can find out how to use the program properly. Um, so basically we're going to create a polygon in GeoGebra. So if you click on the polygon tool and then just click the down arrow and choose the first option which is polygon and basically we're just going to click three points anywhere on the screen one, two, three and then to finish off you're going to click on your first point again and this creates a triangle which is the most basic polygon with three sides. Now you actually can't get any smaller than a triangle uh, when you when you are making a polygon. And so this the what we're trying to do in this lesson is to find out what the sum of angles are inside a polygon. So each of these corners uh, have a certain size of an angle and what we want to do now is display the value of those angles. So click on the angle tool and we're going to click the lines where we want to make the angle up from in a clockwise fashion. So the angle is going from this line to this line in a clockwise fashion so we're going to click this line first and then click this line and it makes the angle appear and we're going to also do the same thing with um, from this angle this line to this line and from this line to this line so now we have drawn our angles now we're going to select the move tool and we're going to move the labels of the angles so that they're just outside of the triangle so they don't um, they don't obstruct our view of the shape. Okay, so now you can see we have three angles in a triangle and if you have a calculator and you add up these three numbers you'll find that together they add up to 180. Now we're gonna move these dots around on the screen and you can see that the numbers are updating as we move the triangle and you can move it to wherever you like so any sort of triangle you want to make um, with these three dots on the screen and I want you to rearrange the triangle to another uh, shape and I want you to add up the three numbers again so 70.8 plus 59.34 plus 49.87 uh, will again add up to 180 so the first rule we're going to define is angles in a triangle 
sum up to 180 degrees right which is a very interesting um, angle fact so in an exam in a test situation what's most likely going to happen is um, the test will probably give you two angles in a triangle and so the third one is missing so what's going to happen is uh, so you're given two of the angles. Um, hang on a second. So in an exam situation, what's mostly, uh, what's most likely going to happen is you're given a triangle with two of the angles, and the third one is missing. So let's call this X, and the test will probably say find angle X. So you use the rule that angles in the triangle sum up to 180 degrees and you can say that um, uh, 180 sorry X plus 117.76 plus 31.65 equals 180 and then we're going to go x equals 180 minus 117.76 minus 31.65 type that in the calculator so 180 minus 117.76 minus 31.65 is 30.59 degrees so that is the answer um, to this question, 30.59 degrees. Okay, so that's how you uh, solve the um, problem of finding a missing angle in a triangle. And uh, we'll continue more about uh, finding the sum of angles inside a polygon uh, in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. See you next time.